Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for Shimmer Paints. I'm super, super excited to bring another project for y'all. I'm going to be scrapping this photo of my son's. This was our last day in Hawaii back in May of 2017, and I've been really wanting to scrap it for quite some time, and I'm really um, excited to show it to y'all today. I am, what you just saw me show was a Studio Calico kit that I had picked up at their clearance sale and I challenged myself to stick to this kit and use only what's in this kit. So what you'll see here in this process is me kind of struggle a little bit and but recover. I did want to cut some of it out and um, like I, did, I will basically just cut it out but I didn't so you could see my process and what I did and um, how I moved through through it. So what I've started off here is a um, piece of pattern paper from the kit. It is blue and white stripes and I've prepped my paper with some gesso and I'm going to go in and work on my background. I have chose a coloring in Keep Palm and I'm using the smushing or packaging technique to get the color applied and I am splattering on some of that color as well. I just have my paintbrush and I've added some water and I'm just going to um, paint on my background. And I, uh, please excuse me if I do sound a little funny or muffled. I did get um, one of my wisdom tooth pulled out, or wisdom teeth pulled out um, a few days ago, and I did wait for the very last minute to have to do the voiceover, only because it's been sore and it's been kind of hard to talk. So uh, the today is definitely a better day, and um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up. <laughs> All right, so the other color that I'm going to add onto my background it is a Vibes and it's in Frostbite and it's a really really pretty blue and uh, I have chosen these colors because the photo I left in color I didn't turn it to black and white I didn't feel like I would do the photo justice if I did that because it is it was taken in Hawaii and Hawaii is beautiful oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's so green and I really wanted to pull out some of those colors in the photo so uh, I am using another Vibes and that's in Glorious Day and it's a really, really pretty yellow but it's got so much shimmer in it, it almost looks gold and I love it. I absolutely love it. And it, So I use quite a bit uh, on this layout and I've got, I smushed them on and I'm splattering and yeah, I love it. Uh, let's see, now I believe I'm going to... In, the next color I'm going to add is a Vibes and it's in Deep Blue Sea. I really wanted to add some more of a deeper blue onto my layout. And if you've watched me, uh, some of my previous process videos, you know that I don't really discriminate in regard to color or uh, like, you know, color theme or boy theme colors on my, my projects. I will straight up use pink and purple on, on my layouts <laughs> for my sons. And, they have, growing up, they've always loved pink and purple and will actually gravitate more to those colors when it comes to choosing certain, you know, bouncy balls or colors of slime or things like that. Um, they always go to pink and purple and, you know, that's just, that's just how they are and I encourage it and that's okay. Uh, so for this layout, it was kind of neat to go ahead and actually use more, uh, I guess, boy thing. I don't really know how to word it because um, every color should go to anybody. It shouldn't be, you know, anyways, totally going off subject. But I chose more of uh, neutral tones, I guess, for them, for this photo. And uh, yeah, so this is where you'll see me pulling, you, where you'll see me pulling out some of the items from the Studio Calico kit. Now it did come with chipboard frames and some of these really cute speech bubble uh, cutouts in vellum. And I really wanted to use this yellow chipboard frame that I don't even remember what it says. My screen's too small. Um, I really wanted to use it, but I don't know what it is with me and frames and chipboard frames. I don't know how to incorporate them onto my layouts. I need to really maybe get some inspiration from Pinterest or, you know, on YouTube to see how other people use them. I, in my head, think that it needs to fit correctly and perfectly in a frame and, uh, I just, that one didn't fit and it, I just wasn't feeling it. So I move on and I pull out a punch, you know, when all else fails, pull out a punch, right? And I got a new punch from eBay. I think I got it for four bucks, which is an old, and it's an old Martha Stewart stamp. I mean, not stamp, punch. 
and it's one that I've wanted and it's in these really pretty weeds and it matches my photo perfectly. So I punched them out in, um, from a Project Life card and it's like a green, like a really pretty green that matches Keep Palm perfectly. And um, so I punched those out and put those to the side and this is where I'm, I'm kind of struggling. Like where, how am I gonna uh, embellish? What am I gonna do? So what saved me was, I, my original plan was to be vertical um, and have my photo in the middle and just work from, you know, up from top to bottom. But it, I just wasn't feeling it. So I flipped my paper so that my background was uh, horizontal. And this is where I was, you know, starting to feel it and, you know, and it was coming a little more easier to me. So I went back through the kit and pulled some pattern paper that matched everything that I was going for. And I cut some strips and I laid them across. Um, the background and I liked how that looked so the, it grounded my photo and it's going to be a base for my embellishments So I was pretty happy that it that just turning the layout really helped me So that's another reason why I wanted to Not cut out and kind of include my process for y'all. So if you're ever stuck And you're not really sure where, where to go and you, you know, you are doing a mixed-media background You know turn your page see if that might help maybe figure out a different way of having, you know, where your where your photo is going to be and where your embellishment buildings are going to go, you know, that might help. Um, but you know, I, I will have to say I did have to step away to kind of uh, I turned the camera off, I gave it some thought, and then I came back and I'm like, wait, I think this might be better if it was horizontal. So definitely play with your stuff and um, and you know, configuration wise, and see what else might work that you might more I guess be happy with. Right, so what, when I was talking, I uh, had pulled out some die cuts from the Studio Calico set, or kit, excuse me, and I put them on the back of my photo. And here, I thought that the yellow was a little too much. It was kind of um, overwhelming and more of a focal point than what, than what I wanted it to be. So I toned it down with some, some gesso, and then I'm adding some blue, which is the frostbite, uh, in, or vibes in frostbite. And then I'm adding a little bit of deep blue sea. Now here is where I made a huge boo boo, and I almost gave up at this point. Like, is this a sign? Do I need to just scrap this whole thing and restart? And my son was was standing right there, my youngest son, and he was like, "Oh, mom, oh no!" Like he felt so bad when he saw what had happened. And I turned the camera off and thought, "Okay, you know what? Turn it back on. Let's just..." Let's, we're gonna roll with it. We're totally gonna do this. So I just went with it and I added some foam to the back of my photo and th this here is where you'll see me um, save it. I got another pattern paper from a past Studio Calico kit and punched a circle and I covered it up and you can kind of see the splatter underneath it but it looks like it belongs and like nothing happened. <laughs> so I had actually punched another uh, shape out of that same paper and it was a ticket punch that I used and I just tuck that underneath my photo and so you'll see the, the other die cuts that I've uh, added underneath my photo it's like a circle piece it's an arrow and then I've got a yellow or it's like a white tag with some yellow striped I've um, this is where I grabbed from my stash I thought you know what I'm not gonna I I'm at a point where uh, I like a lot of embellishments, or I like to have a lot of choices and options when I'm scrapbooking. So I pulled from my stash, I pulled from other Studio Calico kits, so, you know, so it somewhat matched, then I pulled a few pieces from the Hip Kid Club kit. So I've got a chipboard piece, an arrow that says favorite, and it's in, it's in that dark green, and it, it really accents perfectly. I love how it looks. And then I also added a yellow chipboard piece that says think happy and be happy. And I tucked that kind of underneath the circle. I've got another die cut piece that says we were here. And then I've chopped this blue flower that came from the original kit that I was working with. I chopped it in half and then I tucked one part uh, bottom right. And then I'm going to tuck this other piece here because I did want more of the blue up there. I've added those leaves that I punched out. I've added those. I've tucked those in. And I just added glue to the bottom where the stems are, so like the rest of the leaf could kind of lay up and add some dimension. I've got Scotch tacky glue in my bottle, in case you were wondering what I was using to glue everything down. And here's where I wanted a little more yellow, so I pulled a flower from that same die cut kit 
you cut the stem off and then just tuck that behind the leaves. Here's where I and finally incorporate one of those speech bubble vellum pieces and I run it through my little Xyron sticker maker to add an adhesive to the back and I just stick that right there. It's not what I it originally envisioned it to be or I wanted to use a bunch of them on my page. It didn't work out that way but I am happy with where I placed it and how I incorporated it on my lamp. So of course I'm adding some tiny text stickers from Tim Holtz. And I've added family, adventure, and together. I think I add those tiny text stickers on every layout that I do, or every project. I just I love them so much. All right, so here is where I work on, it's not really a title, even though it is, but it's not. Um, I just wrote, or I'm putting what where we were in this photo. I love these tiny stickers. These are um, from the Pick Me Up collection by Paige Evans with pink paisley. And I just wrote Polynesian Cultural Center, Center because I thought it looked real nice. I don't know. It looks official, I guess. Um, and I really normally don't use a, such a big space for just the location. But this was such a, a, a good memory, a good moment for us because it was our last kind of hurrah in Hawaii. And we'd lived there for three years and then we finally went to this place. And it's kind of funny. Obviously, if you're a tourist and you go on vacation, that's one of the places you visit right away. But when you live somewhere like in Hawaii, you kind of take those things for granted. Because you know, you're like, oh, we live here. We always, we always have time to go and leave it to the very last day of us living there that we actually go out and explore. And we had such a great time. It was, it was a very, very good day. It was bittersweet. I can say that. All right, so uh, I'm adding a few pieces from the Paintbrush uh, Studio collection. I think it's Let Your Heart Slide. I think that's what it is. It was from the, I think it is. It was from the Hip Kit, uh, Hip Kit Club kits for February. So I just added an epoxy yellow heart and I added this puppy sticker, and that wraps it up. The only thing I'm going to add um, from Paintbrush Studio is the year from these tiny alphas, and I add 2017. I am going to pull uh, some enamel dots from the Studio Calico kit and I'm going to sprinkle those around. I do add them in navy, in the green, and the yellow. I really love this color scheme. I don't usually do a lot of the blue, greens, and yellows. I'm more of like the blues, the pinks, the mints, the golds. That's usually what I I use and that's what I love. But in this in this project, you know, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone and I. I had a great time. You know, I did have some struggles, but I made it and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And this is probably one of my favorites that I've made in a while. I just add some stamping to yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to go back in uh, with Glorious Day and add some last minute sprinkles and splatters. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process. I will have links below to the Shimmers Paints store their blog, uh, my blog, as well as um, some, some so my social media sites. Uh, don't forget to add my name in the notes of the comment section if you decide to place an order, and they'll um, kindly send you the freebie. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking my videos. It really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!